Welcome back to another video, hope you are having a great day and today with a solution to a common limitation that we find on this kind of devices. This is the Realme 4K which we have reviewed here on the channel. I also have here the Google Chromecast with Google TV which we have reviewed here on the channel as well. Great devices but with one limitation. They only have one connection which is the HDMI cable right over here. So if I connect this to this monitor or this TV, what happens is that I will be limited to the sound quality that I've got on my TV. Unless there is something called audio extractor. Now this one right over here will be able to output image to a TV and also audio to a soundbar such as this one capable of HDMI input or even an AVR or iFi system with a great audio quality. Now how it works it's really simple I'm going to share with you but one note is that we have seen quite a few solutions about three or four different audio extractors depending on the device that we want to connect with different connectivity. So I will leave some links down below so that you can check out but stay tuned with this video and towards the end I will give you a few more details. That being said Let's go straight for it. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account you can use the same coupon code which will give you the best price possible at this moment so just in case the link will be down below so inside the package there is some paperwork a quick user guide that we can use for reference but it's easy as I'm going to share with you in just a few moments the power adapter and also the Biki 927 audio extractor. Now at the front we will find the LEDs of which we can activate right over here. There's also EDID option right over here and also a USB type C for a firmware upgrade if necessary. Build quality great all metallic enclosure and at the back as we can see really simple to use we just need to plug in the DC 5 volts and then right over here we will put in our source which we would normally connect directly to our TV and then it will come out to the TV and it will come out at the same time for our audio system. Okay so now looking at a real example I've got everything connected right over here and we can see here the LEDs at the front showing that we have all the signals with the exception of eARC because we are not using eARC. So we have an input, output, amp and also the uh, on LED. Now at the back we can see that we have the media source plugged in to the HDMI in and then we have the out going directly to the TV and then we also have the audio out which in this particular case is going to the HDMI in. We can see right over there we have a HDMI arc which we are not using at this moment and then we have a hdmi in just right over here so without the cable we can see it better we have the hdmi in right over here which is where we will connect the hdmi cable that comes out of the bk927 so the connectivity is as simple as this and now with a setup example for the audio extractor bk927 which is connected right over here and we are going to see the connectivity we have a display and a soundbar with hdmi input capability it will support up to 8k at 60 hertz or 4k 120 hertz it will also support variable refresh rate hdr10 HDR10 Plus, Dolby Vision, HLG Pass Through and a lot more. So some specifications I will leave here on screen but for all of the specifications the link will be down below with the Aura BK927. Now in terms of connectivity what we've got right over here is really straightforward as we've seen previously. We've got the DC in and then we have the media input source. This is the Google Chromecast TV with Google TV which is displaying on this TV 
TV, but as we can see, it's not connected directly to the TV, which is not actually a TV. This is a display without any sound output at all. So if I only had the Chromecast Google TV and this monitor, we would have no audio whatsoever and no possibility of outputting audio. In this particular case, we have the audio extractor, which will do the magic of extracting audio to the sound bar. Now, one of these cables, which is this one here, is outputting to the TV. And then this cable right over here will share the audio to the sound bar, which is connected here at the back, as we can see. And basically, this is it. Simple as this. Here at the front, we can see the LEDs. We have the on and off, which shows that at this moment it's on. We have the input LED, which shows that we have a media source connected output which means that i do have a tv that i'm displaying the image and then the amp which is the signal that we are transferring audio to to this sound bar now earc is turned off but we could also capture the audio from a tv that actually has arc or earc instead of using our multimedia device so another example would be if my tv supported i could connect the google tv chromecast behind the tv on, on a hd my input and then I could output a HDMI cable with eARC to the audio extractor and basically that is it now in terms of audio quality I didn't connect the other uh, Twitters and also the subwoofer but we can connect also USB listen devices to like this phone right over here which is someone that you already know and a setup that you already know and actually right this HDMI switch right over here. It's really special because we can use besides HDMI, we can also use a USB type C to the switch. So if you haven't watched this video, watch because it's really, really cool. I will try to leave a link down below. But basically, this is it. Now, at this moment, so inside the package, we will find we have everything that we required. We still have the great image quality, so we will pass through everything that the multimedia device has to offer without losing any resolution, without losing any image quality, and at the same time getting the pass through of the audio capabilities to the soundbar or to an AVR that it's compatible with HDMI in. So really simple to set up and really simple to use. And obviously if this was a real setup, I would hide it behind my TV or something like that, and no one would see the magic that is doing. Now, as I was saying at the beginning of the video, this is one of the extractors, audio extractors that we have seen so far, but I will leave some links down below because depending on the device that we are using and want to extract the audio for, there are different kinds of audio extractors. So if your device, for example, has coaxial inputs, then there's one down below in the video description that you can check out. If it has HDMI arc, there's also one down below. And if it has optical input and those kinds of inputs on your soundbar or on your sound system, then those will be the solution. If you are looking for something with HDMI input, like this soundbar right over here or AVR, then this is the one to get. Which, by the way, might not be helpful today but as long as we know that there is a solution for this limitation, if it's not today, then probably tomorrow or in a few months, someone will ask us, hey, I've got an issue and you will remember that you know about a solution. And the solution is a audio extractor. If the video was helpful, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.